If you can't find it, build it! That's it! Don't take no for a fucking answer! They banished me never to be seen To a place where the air's always filled with screams So hot that the land only grows weeds A place filled with demons and ghosts on the weeds Let's go! Everybody, it's at the end of the day. Is anybody fucking tired? No! All right, now listen. Every single one of you, you came here today in the hope to change your life. No, you didn't. You came here because you wanted to make a decision to change your life. What are you going to do when you leave? Listen, I want to tell you something. This is the craziest shit. As I sit here today and as I'm talking to you guys, it's just so crazy what can happen when you take your life serious. And I think a lot of you today, you ain't, you ain't made the decision to go all in yet. Because, you know, at 39 years old, I fucking woke up. I made a lot of money. I was a sales guy. I did well. But that wasn't success. I got my wife right here. If you guys got someone at home, listen, the person with you at home is your fucking superpower. You guys hear me? Some of you at home, you're looking for someone to build you up and it's the person at home with you and you need to motivate them. Take them with you on the journey. They'll support your goals. Build the dream together. Build the goal together. It's you two against the world. At 39 years old, I woke up. This was just the other day and I was right there where you are. I quit my W-2 job. You know why? I couldn't find what I wanted. If you can't find it, build it. That's it. Take no for a fucking answer. If you can't find it, build it. Betrayal, I hate it. My whole life, I've been lied to. My whole life, I've lied. Damn. All right, my whole life, betrayal. Listen to me, who's been betrayed? Raise your hand. You wanna know how to build an unrecruitable team? You wanna know? Never betray anybody again. I'm gonna tell you, as you guys see my team sitting behind me, if anyone in this room can recruit one of them, my weakest one, I'll give you 10 million cash. You know why? They don't work for fucking money. So they won't come. Blood, sweat, and tears are what people give to the leader. People work for a manager for a paycheck. I wanna tell you guys today, I'm gonna to give you 10 things that will change your life right now. Now get your phones out. Stand up, stay stood up. By the way, if I catch somebody sitting down when I'm talking, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw the mic down. I'm gonna come out there and throw you through a window. I swear on my life, because I only got 14 minutes and 46 seconds more with you. Get your phone out. I wanna know one through 10, one through 10, you're gonna tag me on official Andy Elliott. What's your favorite one? Which one are you gonna take action on? I wanna know too. By the way, there's a rule for the next 14 minutes. Be where your feet are. What does that mean? That means we're fucking here right now. Okay? So don't be thinking about 30 minutes from now. Don't be thinking about tonight. Don't be thinking about your plane flight. Dude, the reason why a lot of you get smoked is because you're never really where you are. You want a better marriage, but when you're at home, you're thinking about work. When you're at work, you're thinking about being at home. When you're at the gym, you're fucking somewhere else. That's why you never change. Right now, we're gonna be here for the next 14 minutes. Now here's the deal, I'm passionate as What did Tim Grover say? Pour your heart out. I sat right there. I didn't fucking believe that I could have what I wanted. That was my problem. Now listen to me. I'm gonna give you 10 things that I did that changed my life forever. And if you can consciously pay attention, I love Ed Milet. He says most people act slow, think slow, don't write shit down, they don't move quick. I want you to fucking, look, if I have an imagination, if I have a vision, but I don't execute, no one will know my name. I remember Brad Lee, who's coming up shortly. He goes, Andy, you gotta build a brand. I didn't even know how to hold a camera. My wife's like, Andy, Andy, Andy. He'd be like, what's up, it's Andy Elliott. I felt like such a loser. I didn't know how to do it, but she goes, Andy, stop. There's someone on the other side of that camera. They're gonna change their life. Give them all you got. Just play with your heart, fuck it. If we don't go big, at least we give it all, our, all we got. Empty the tank.
Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I start shooting social media content. I start trying to build my business. Dude, now, fast forward three years later, we get 150 million views every 28 days. Now listen, hold on. Is anything impossible? No. I swear on my life, your family's life is gonna change now. Your life is gonna change now. You're gonna make a fucking decision in the next 12 minutes. And it's gonna be on one of these 10 that you're gonna do. Number one, future truth. Who knows Patrick Bet David? Raise your hand. Yeah. I go to the ball in 2021. Nobody knows who I am. I'm there to study. I just got back two, three weeks ago. I'm still studying. I can't even go take a piss because everybody's taking pictures. It's crazy as shit. It's wild. How fast will things change if you guys will envision your future truth? Right now, everybody's going to tell a lie. I'm giving you permission. Who do you want to be? You're gonna become that person right fucking now. Right now. And then you stay that person. And people are gonna laugh at you. They're gonna make fun of you. Everybody say, recreate. recreate. You're gonna recreate yourself and reinvent yourself to become the person you're supposed to fucking be. Right this minute. Now listen to me. Everybody's gonna laugh at you. Are you guys ready for the embarrassment? Are you guys ready to get fucking made fun of? Are you guys ready to be a fool for your best life? Don't you fucking lie to me. Some of you right now, the second someone says some bullshit about you, you freaking slow down. No ways. Everybody in this room, all of you, 18 year old, 90 year old, you're fucking changing today. You're gonna recreate your life, reinvent yourself, future truth. Make the lie. I am the best leader in the world. I'm, gonna, I'm the best husband in the world. I'm the best father in the world to my three children. I'm in great shape. I'm going to fucking give it all I got. And you live in this state every second, 60 minutes in an hour, every second of the day. I swear on my life, you will become this. Recreate. Today, if that's you, that one's for you. Number two, God. I have a great heart. Notice, everybody in this world that's a phenomenal leader leads with their heart. I know I got a bad mouth, I'm sorry. Some of you guys check out sometimes. Guys, I, I, you know what? I'm fucking pissed off sometimes because you don't have the life that you want right now and you should have it. Who else is pissed off for you? Okay, listen to me. With humans, it's impossible. With God, it's possible. Me and my team, we prayed for every one of you right now, and I'm trying to tell you this. Listen, put God first, you'll be at peace forever. That is how I scale. All right. This is a big one for me. Master, sales, closing, leadership. Are we in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time? Yeah, hey, two rules. You want to be a badass salesperson? Number one, out care your customer. Care more about your customer than they care about themselves. How about fucking that? Number two, believe in what you sell. Most of you right now walk into a mortgage company. This guy sells mortgage leads. I say, hey man, how good are the leads? He's like, well, you know, I'm like, dude, that's the problem. <laughs> believe in yourself, sells. Number two, closing. Do you need to know how to close, yes or no? <laughs> what is a close? A close is done after the offer's presented. Your job is to give them re people reasons and excuses why they should say yes to you now. Now this is the last one, leadership. We are in the era of the worst leader in the history of time. I hear salespeople all the time say, I met my manager, I could tell he was important. I know other people that say, I met my leader and I can feel I was important. See this team? See this? We built a nine-figure business in three years. Who's next who's next come on man can you guys move faster where's my grit at where's team grit come on man I know they're awake I've met some of your teams around here and you're fired up 
Leadership. Grid's got a good fucking leader. I've watched them push. I've seen their team. Go back to zero every single day. You know what I see a lot of you guys? You ain't got a chip on your shoulder. You're fucking comfortable. You know what I've seen about broke people? Most broke people are arrogant. They're arrogant. Also, some of you work for a company right now that gave you an opportunity and believes in you, and you need to go back to day one. My wife, if I treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Some of you are going to marriage counseling. Just treat the person you're with the way you treated them the very first day. Some of you, some of you, you got a job right now that you prayed for. What would you fucking do today if it was your first day and you were given your interview? Would you go harder? Wake up. Some of you ain't gonna change today. It's so disappointing. I'm not being negative. Some of you aren't gonna change. Don't be that person. I will tell every single one of you, listen, from a person, my, my family's fat. Six pack or you're fired. It's a standard. My entire family, I'm the only healthy one fit in my family. Everybody's three to 500 pounds, they all had the stomach surgery. You guys can recreate your fucking DNA right now. You wanna change your bloodline? Who's gonna do it? Like Ed Milet says, someone else gotta come or you the fucking one? I'm the one in my family, who's it gonna be in yours? You? Don't, don't you fucking lie to me, go back to zero. Learn to speak, learn to persuade, learn to influence, learn to paint pictures, learn to tell stories. You guys get it? Are all, hey, are all you guys public speakers, yes or no? Yes. yes! You guys speak for a living. Do people want to hear you, yes or no? Yes! Bullshit! Some of you, I walk up to you, you, you can't talk. Your mouth is tongue-tied. You don't practice. Listen, if you want to get what you want, Look at this, learn to speak, learn to influence, learn to persuade, learn to paint pictures, learn to tell stories. Everybody say transfer of emotion. <laughs> Take the way you feel and press it into whoever you're talking to. Are you infectious? Yeah. When you walk around, are people like, dude, I gotta fucking be around this person all the time. Yeah. Some of you, a few have been here today, you don't like my energy because you're dead. You don't like that I'm blowing my voice out? You know why? Because I'm giving all I got. I wish you could. If you, if you leave this event and you don't blow your fucking voice out and your, and your mouth ain't, and your jaw ain't numb after talking to so many great people, guys, you know what I love? Every single one of you made a decision to be in here. You know how many left early? You know how many left early? You know how many people ain't paying attention? Guys, listen, listen, listen. See an army? I don't have a fucking sales team. That's a fucking army. You guys, when you leave, you're gonna start building your army. Even if it's one of you, it was me and my wife, and we prayed for them. And one by one, one by one, if they believed what we believed, we told them our core values, our standards, we said, dude, we want to die this way. We want to live this way until we die. Today, some of you have made a decision to make history. Today, some of you have made a decision to quit fucking playing small. I want to say something. There's a guy named Rob Bailey on the side of the stage right now. Yeah, he's fucking over here. Because I got a light, I can't see anybody. Hey, there's a guy named Rob Bailey, and I want to tell you something. Tim Grover said, go dark. I literally, in 2019, when I quit my job, I needed someone. And I ran across his music. It changed my fucking life. I went dark. I shaved my head. I went in the garage. I listened to his music until I was brainwashed. And it's so, no, and I swear to God, I brainwash, the news brainwashes you to be afraid and scared. And I brainwash myself to believe in this intensity and this craziness. Guys, 
And it's so crazy. I never imagined I could be buddies with him or be friends with Brad Lee. I'm family to these guys now. And Keaton, guys, what do you want? When we leave here, you got a vision, you got imagination. You must execute. Don't let nothing get in your fucking way. And listen, if somebody doesn't believe in you, fuck them. Get rid of their ass. Have the courage to do what I didn't have to do for 39 years. And at 39 years, listening to Rob Bailey's music changed my life. My wife, when we met Rob, she started crying because she saw me transform total recreation right in front of her face. Some of you guys, it's, it's time to change in front of the people that love you. Train so hard, people think you're insane. I'm gonna tell you, 99% of the people in this world are a master of none. They're fucking master of nothing. Choose one thing. Become the top 1% in your industry at it. You'll never worry about money again. That's what I did. I, I wrote this down. Become crazy. If you want to win, I'm going to make it really fucking simple. You're going to have to be psycho crazy. Do you believe me? Some of you, you're an introvert and you're shy like me. Time to fucking change. I had to. I'm so glad I made the decision. I trained my ass off until I learned what I was doing so good. I forgot I was an introvert. I forgot I was shy. Today, today some of you I'm going to run into and you're going to talk about how like Rob Bailey changed my life, how I changed your life today. And it's not because I did it, but because you made a decision because I said something that struck you in the fucking heart. And listen, the truth is hard to take, but the truth is what we need in a world full of cowards. Okay? All right. This is the big one. I'm moving fast the last 50 seconds because I know they're going to throw me out of here. Test days. How you wake up when the sun don't shine. When you just lost your best customers. When you're fighting with your wife. When you're fucking broke. How you wake up on that day. Know that's a test day and give it all you fucking got. Don't ever let a test day break you. And I'm going to cover one more physical mental business. If you become physically fit, you will kill it mentally and break records and then you will kill it in business. If anybody's in this room and you're not physically fit, the biggest paradigm shift you will ever receive in your life is the go get in shape. Swear to God. And I'm going to and I'm going to end on this one. Build an army. 30, 30 seconds and I'll walk off. Build an army. My team, I'm nothing without them. My wife, we talk about it every day. So many of you right now are looking for your home. Build an army. If you're a person and you're in your company right now, by the way, there's introverts, right? Like me. You guys, wake the fuck up today. Because when you do, you're dangerous. You'll become a leader that will build an army like this with a bunch of people that have been through brokenness. They'll turn their wounds into their weapons. And you guys form a fucking tribe, a community, an army. And I swear on my life, dude, you guys can do anything. I want to say this as I walk off. I'm grateful to be here. I love you guys. If anybody, anybody here has followed me on social media, you guys saw I used to have hair. I used to be fat. I used to not know how to speak. I used to stutter. I used to not believe in myself. My wife used to not admire me. My, my kids didn't look up to me as a hero. I wasn't a leader to my team. And I made a decision just like you're going to make today. And I swear to God, you will change your life moving forward. I love you guys. Powerful Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.